Scalpers are just like my hemorrhoids. They're a pain in my ass and they refuse to go away. Time for some context. Walmarts across the nation have been restocking Evolving Skies ETBs, and just like a rabid mongoose foaming at the mouth hunting a cobra, scalpers have already been spotted watching the stalkers as they put ETBs on the shelves ready to pounce. No, it literally hasn't even been like a day, and ETBs for Evolving Skies are already flooding every Pokemon space on the internet, going for like $70 plus, all the way up to like, I think I saw $90 for one. I mean, just take a look at this image. Like, it's so obvious that Walmart had just restocked these and that they were going up everywhere. Even this dude knew what was going on. And that's the lamest excuse I've ever seen. I bought them from a guy last week. If you're gonna do something scumbaggy like this, at least have the balls to admit it. Especially when you know someone's probably gonna buy them. But let's be honest, Evolving Skies scalping never really went anywhere. It's been around since the set got released. And these ETBs getting scalped is about as surprising as two dudes kissing in a Disney movie. We all knew it was gonna happen. But I think there's a bigger question here. It's easy to blame the scalper, but I think if we put our big boy pants on and look at this a little deeper, the way that we stop this scalping is very obvious. We stop buying the shit. I mean, seriously, what about Evolving Skies, which is more common than germs on shit, is so attractive that you would pay that much for an ETB? What justifies it, honestly? If you spend $70 on an ETB, there's only eight cards in the entire set that are worth more than that. And you're more likely to get a giveaway from Leon Hart than you are to actually pull one of those cards, especially in the second print run. And I know what a lot of you are thinking. Well, if I don't buy the cards, someone else is. Fucking good. Let somebody else overpay for an Evolving Skies ETB that they're gonna pull one Breloom V out of. And let's say they do get astronomically lucky and pull the Moonbreon. They did it through supporting one of the most unethical practices in the Pokemon community. Now don't get me wrong, I understand the chase. As a card collector, I understand that there are few things more nut tickling than pulling your chase card. But paying that much for a set that's recent, readily available, and overprinted makes you look like an absolute smooth brain. And I'm not here to judge you for that, but you can't complain about scalping in the Pokemon community and then go and fund the people who are scalping. The math just doesn't math. And this really is my biggest criticism for this community that I love so dearly, is that it is absolutely devoid of even an ounce of self-control. I mean, seriously, there are people who would put up their firstborn as collateral if it meant they got to finance their card addiction. I'm not telling you to not splurge or treat yourself every once in a while, but you have to be smart and patient and never buy into hype. So buckle down and have some self-control. You don't need every Evolving Skies ETB that you see. If you see them at Walmart on retail, obviously go for them. But do it to open them or keep in your sealed collection for a couple years. Don't turn around and sell it for 30 more bucks. That's really all I have to say about that. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. It's Friday. Well, it's Saturday for me. And as you can tell, I sound sicker than a fucking dog. I'm not really that sick. I just have like a sore throat and I was yelling during PT test today. But I'll get over it. Wish me luck, man. And remember to go back and watch all of my old videos, please. Nah, but for real, I love you guys. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Don't help out scalpers. I know most of you don't, but for the people who need to hear it, make sure to French kiss that sub button on the way out and leave a like if you enjoy the content. And I'll see you in the next vid, baby.